If I ask you about the best example of friendship between countries, you will possibly end up naming India and Russia. Undoubtedly, Russia and India share a friendly bond which breaches all the odds of geopolitical turmoil. India and Russia have shared a friendly relation for almost 52 years now. India considers it as the closest and the most trusted ally because Russia supported India when the whole world was determined to leave India isolated. And India acknowledged that. Indian Foreign Minister Dr. S. J. Sankar replied to a question by a TV news anchor as an example of that. When asked about India's wild trade with war and supporting Russia, he schooled the anchor by saying that Russia helped India when the whole West decided to support a country that promotes terrorism. The Indo-Russia Friendship Treaty of 1971 is the manifestation of that friendship. That is why one section of geopolitical scholars believe that India's stand on ongoing Russia-Ukraine war is less neutral, foreign policy and more tactic support to the all-weather friend. However, it is a matter of debate. Still, India and Russia share a strong bond that they both desperately need, especially in recent times. From time along, we have heard statements from both sides that call for praises of each other and cravings for strengthening of the relation. And now India is going to get an offer on fifth generation aircraft manufacturing. The recent development around fifth generation aircraft are crucial for both the countries and needs a deeper analysis. Hi and welcome to TFI Post. I am your host Pratyush Madhav. Let's begin with the video report. From 13 to 17th of February, Defence Exhibition Organization of Defence Ministry is organizing Aero India Show, the largest Asian air show and exhibition, is to be held in Bengaluru. The delegation from all across the world joined the event twice a year. And as obvious, Russia too is joining the upcoming event. According to Russian news agency TASS, the Russian delegation attending the international air show is planning to discuss the potential cooperation with India. The cooperation will be shout to create fifth generation aircraft. According to TASS source from Rostec, a delegation of representatives from our aircraft building companies will attend the Aero India air show. We plan to discuss cooperation in fifth generation aircraft. In particular, there is the intention to invite our Indian partners to join Checkmate Light Tactical Fighter Project. It is interesting to know that the show of 2021, Russia featured over 200 military products, thereby making it an active partner of the event. The Checkmate Fighter is the derivative of Su-57 Felon, a fifth generation aircraft. It is a light tactical aircraft LTA, also known as Su-75 Checkmate. The fighter jet is 46 feet long and 39 feet wingspan. Also known as Su-75, Checkmate is single-engine aircraft that was first showcased in mass air show near Moscow in 2021. Later in Dubai air show, it was showcased for the first time in the foreign land. Checkmate is expected to take its maiden flight in 2023, while the serial production will start from 2026. The aircraft is lighter and cheaper than other modern compact jets like F-35. The aircraft has 7,400 kg armament carrying capacity, a speed of 2,200 km per hour and 2,800 km range. Although the range is little less than previously stated, it is still impressive and will be accomplished using external fuel loads. As far as its capabilities are concerned, it will have a maximum speed of Mach 1.8, which means the jet has the maximum speed of 1.8 times the speed of sound. Let's understand the whole game of aircraft production and its competition. Fifth generation aircrafts are fighter jets inbuilt with technology of 21st century. The first aircraft of such a generation was introduced by United States. The F-22 Raptor, which entered service in 2005, the characteristics of fifth generation fighter are not only universally agreed upon and not every fifth generation type necessarily has them all. However, they typically include sleet, low probability of intercept radar, agile airframes with super crisp performance, advanced avoidances, features and highly integrated computer system capable of networking with other elements within the battle space for situation, awareness and C3, command, control and communication capabilities. 
there are only 16 fifth generation aircrafts among which some are still under manufacturing process. The major countries that are in competition of supremacy in fifth generation fighter jets are United States, China, Russia, Turkey, South Korea and India. India is working to produce its first fifth generation fighter jet AMCA by 2030. AMCA is being manufactured under the joint venture of India and Russia. If we look at fifth generation aircraft of Russia, the first one was Su-57. India and Russia started a joint venture to manufacture FGFA West on Su-57. But in 2018, India withdrew from the deal. According to India, it was expensive, poorly engineered and powered by old and unreliable engines. While Cancelling the deal, India assumed to accept when Su-57 joined the Russia Air Force. Now, Su-75 Checkmate is a new derivative of Su-57 and is considered by many defense experts as one of the best aircraft in the world. So, Russia is actually looking to carry on the previous deal with the new fighter jet. There are many angles to the story. First, India is continuously working in the direction of self-reliance. The Atmirva Bharat and Make in India initiative are proving to be successful. India is not only manufacturing but also exporting indigenous defense equipment. India has recently joined the club of nations with aircraft carrier manufacturing capability. India has also been successful in manufacturing a complete indigenous aircraft called Tejas. Just recently, Asia's biggest helicopter facility was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Secondly, indigenous manufacturing will reduce imports and Russia since long has been a major supply of arms and ammunition to India. There was a time when it stood almost 74%. Now it has reduced to 35% as of 2022. Since then, imports have only reduced. The third is that in the ongoing war, India stands neutral, but somehow India believes that Russia is in between a crisis that will eventually escalate once the war is over. So remaining dependent on Russia blindly is not going to work. But as India could join US after reducing the dependencies on Russia, India needed a reliable partner that is not inclined towards USA and France is the one such country. So India increases bilateral dealings with France and as a result, the defense trade along with other is soaring. On the part of Russia, all the three angles are posing a threat to the relationship with India. Although India does not want to compromise the relation with Russia, that is why it is not jumping directly towards the United States. Despite all this, India can accept the offer of Russia when it comes to Checkmate simply for the following reasons. Checkmate is anticipated as the best fifth generation aircraft with immense capabilities. It gives an opportunity to attack the objective without entering the adversary space. India has the bargaining chip when it comes to Checkmate because of failed Su-57. Russia primitive call is a signal of Russia approval to it. However, the landing and takeoff of LCA Tejas has been tested successfully on INS Vikrant. Indian Navy is looking to procure foreign aircraft for INS Vikrant and INS Vikram Aditya. France and US are the top contenders for it. Now, with Checkmate, India gets another contender in the form of Russia. This can also be another deal to hold the friendly relation apart from wild trade. As despite a tremendous hike in wild trade, China and Turkey have become the biggest trading partner of Russia. Russia's increasing dependency on China is actually a threat to India. In today's Asia, the competition of domination is between India and China. Moreover, being one of the biggest markets and manufacturer who wins Asia will prove to be the greatest power of the world. And China being aware of Russia's economic fragility is eyeing to make Russia dependent on itself and thereby using its military strength. If India takes the deal and manufactures the checkmate in India with the full capacity, it may turn out to be the biggest manufacturer of fifth generation aircraft. And since fifth generation aircraft are not easily available for all the countries, manufacturing in India will also increase the credibility of the aircraft and hence it may get interest from other countries as well. Apart from all other reasons, the aircraft is expected to be the most affordable fifth generation aircraft in the global armed market. 
If we look at some of the limitation of Russia, we find the sanction imposed on Russia because of war in Ukraine has made it difficult for Russia to procure critical technology required to produce large volume of sophisticated combat sensor with microprocessor systems. Developers are facing financial issues. They are actively looking for foreign partner to fund this program. And obviously India is one of those partners as India's economic growth has been tremendous in the recent years. Russia needs to boost its defense sector that is witnessing a decline after commencement of the war. In order to understand the anticipated move of India, let's sum up the detail. Firstly, India has an edge in this project because of geopolitical turmoil and relationship between the countries. Secondly, the aircraft is effective and affordable and comes with immense possibilities for India. Thirdly, India does not want to lose Russia as its partner and with recent trend, India is unwillingly pushing itself towards the West. So, if we look towards the current situation, it will most likely that India will conclude the deal in the near future as geopolitical tension of the world are secondary for India. The nation prioritizes its own security and checkmate may prove to be an advancement in its military capability in the subcontinent. Adding to that, since the developers are seeking foreign investment, the reluctance of India can lead them to sit in the lap of China which will be a bigger threat to India.